going to demonstrate how to set the valve lash on a Sato engine. Actually this method can apply to just about any four stroke engine. The first thing you want to do is have the right tools to do the job and for a Sato engine the adjustment screw is a hex key so I've got a really small hex key wrench here. I've got another small wrench here that actually loosens the adjuster or the lock nut but many Sato engines will actually come with this little spanner wrench which is what's used for that also so uh, this is what I would use today but this little ignition wrench is actually a 530 seconds and it's close enough fit to actually be used there and then of course you need feeler gauges so the first thing when you set the valve lash is obviously the engine needs to be cold to do that and you want to set the lash with the uh, piston at top dead center on the compression stroke so if I rotate this through my exhaust valve is going down, intake valve is going down, now I'm coming into compression and you can feel it just prop over and then you want to just stop it right at the top. Now I've loosened my glow plug here so that the compression, because this engine's got quite a bit of compression, so I could easily turn it through there. But you can also remove the plug and shine a light down there and just kind of watch, you know, ro rotate it back and forth until you see that the piston's at top dead center. So those are the things. You have to have it cool to do this and the, end, the piston needs to be on the compression stroke at top dead center. So um, I have a set of feeler gauges I like to use. They came with an old OS engine. They always, always came with a really nice set. Two gauges, one's like a .04 millimeter and one's a .1 millimeter. Now the gauge that comes with a Sato engine is a .1 millimeter. I use the .1 <coughs> excuse me, as my no-go gauge. Sato says you can just use that and use that gauge and just you know set it so that it just you know nips on that. But I kind of like to set my valves a little bit tighter than that. So I always use the 0.04 millimeter. And what I want to do is I want to set it so that my rocker arms are just nipping that. So they're not nipping that. So I'm going to have to loosen this up. I'm going to start with the exhaust valve for no particular reason. So I loosen up my lock nut. I slide my feeler gauge in. Insert my Allen wrench. And I'll just kind of start rotating it. And as I rotate it, I'll just kind of feel to see. Am I starting to nip? I just want to barely be nipping this. Just start to feel a little bit of tension on it right there. So I want to hold my wrench and then lock my nut down. Oof. That's a little bit too tight there. So let's go down here, put this on, the spanner on again, open it up. Let's do this again. It's too tight, I'm going to open it just a hair. That's about right there. Right there, it's just starting to nip it. I feel just a little bit of tension there. Okay, I always do one valve at a time, then I'll kind of rotate it through a few times. Get it back to that point and then test it. And my point one is not really going in there. I mean, I can kind of force it in there, but if I just kind of lay it in there, it's not really going in. So that's good. Point one's sliding in the intake valve very easily, so let's do the intake valve. Break that loose. Put this feeler gauge in here. Throw the wrench across the table. And start to rotate until we just feel it start to nip. Okay. Just starting to nip there. That's not really going in. Let's rotate it through here a few times. Stop on the compression stroke at the top. Check it again. And the valves are set. So like I said, this same procedure can be done on any four-stroke engine. The key things are the engine must be cold when you do it. Have the right set of feeler gauges for your engine. Now, I know the Sato guide uses or the manual provides you with this point one, and that's fine. 
Um, I just like to set mine a little bit tighter. I think an Inya engine uses a .05 maybe. I'm not sure off the top of my head I've got them on here, but the markings are all worn off of them. Uh, but that's basically how you set the valve lash on an engine.